In this lesson, I'm just going to teach you about the illumination settings within Maya's Paint Effects. All right, so I open Maya here, and I'm just going to go down to my pull down here and select Rendering. Now, there's two ways we can get a brush in Maya, which you learned in my previous tutorial. You can either go up to here, get brush, or we can go up to the toolbar here and select Paint Effects, get brush. All right, so I'm just going to select the brush that has the illumination settings within it. So I'll select Food and flat noodle. Alright, so come to my grid here, hold B to make the brush a little larger and just drag to the side, make it a little bigger. Just drag some noodles out onto here and within our attribute editor here you'll see the stroke and the flat noodle attributes. So we'll have all these options here and you'll see an option for illumination. Drag that pull down here and you'll notice you have the option for real lights and the illumination options. So if we render that out without the illumination options, you'll notice it'll be just a white, basically an alpha. So if we turn that on, you'll notice the illumination settings will take place. Um, so here we have the option for real lights, or we can light it with uh, the paint effects lighting options. This is very important because Maya does not allow you to light link paint effects so you're probably going to want to use this to customize uh, your specific paint effects lighting so I'm just going to type in 0 1 0 and render that out and the light will be coming from below if you want it to come from above uh, you can make this a negative value and there you go so um, if you want to render it out with uh, the lights within your scene you just select real lights and I'm going to drop in a point light here. It's kind of a pain in the ass to select, but I'll get there. All right, just drag that up a little bit, render it out, and it'll be affected by this point light. Now, a cool option within these illumination settings is the lighting base width. So if I bump this up all the way, you'll notice that all the noodles near the uh, within the light um, will be appear smaller and all ones out of the light will appear wider so if I make this a negative value the opposite will occur so just make this negative 8.8 .8. all right let me see there we go Alright, so you notice these will be wider within the light, and these are thinning out. Alright, so our next setting here is translucency. So, if we pump this up and render that out, you'll notice the paint effects will attract a lot of light. Um, bring this down all the way. It'll be very dark. Um, Alright, so then we have specular, which will give your object a bit of shininess. We pump this up. It's kind of hard to see here, but let me just turn off real lights. We'll have it. Oh, okay. Light base width. Let's maybe make that zero. Yep. All right. You'll notice slight shininess. You might be able to see it better if we bring the translucency down a little bit. All right, so, and lastly, there's specular color. So, let's say we want a blue specular. You'll see that show up on the noodles here. So, anyway, that's basically all there is for uh, illumination settings. Hopefully you got a few good tips out of that uh, that you can utilize in your own projects. Thanks for watching.